Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading Hello Baby episode 21 to 22 due to Webtoon's new policy for 2023. I do have to blur 50% of each episode, so if you guys want to read along with me, it's available on webtoons.com. For anyone out there who wants to support me by joining Patreon uh, page, there I'll have all the videos with no censorship, no cat logo, and you guys will also gain early access to my reads. They're all available on patreon.com slash CKT chaotic let's go ahead and get started Whew. and also i'm using this way this platform to also practice my english pronunciation i do struggle a bit so bear with me <laughs> Whew. okay let's go hello baby episode 21 dad it is it true that i am an abandoned child and i'm not your real daughter what who who said that I heard it from some women gossiping near our gates. Those damn gossiping mongrels who don't have a life. Come here. You are my daughter, all right? I would never, ever abandon you. <laughs> but when you grow up, I hope you'll find someone who will be by your side forever. When Dad's gone. Oh, Dad? You said... You'll never leave me. When? When? You all right? Why are you sleeping here? Huh? Huh? Easy now. Good evening. You must be Gwen? I'm Faye. Marante Torres. The prettiest little sister. Huh? Tall, a gentle smile, a perfect face. She's like a female version of Arthur. Can I call you Gwen, sister-in-law? Sister-in-law is a bit... Uh, <laughs> then Gwen it is. You can just call me Faye. Uh, my nephew. Hey, he's sleeping and be careful. Excuse me, I have children of my own, you know. I'm more than capable of holding a baby. <laughs> Leon, don't cling too much to this woman. What? Where did my jeans go? Sorry, she keep... She kept insisting to meet you. I really didn't want anyone to find out yet. I just wanted a proper introduction, so here I am. It's alright. I prepared some stuff for dinner. I'll get everything right away. She's shy. How cute. I'm sorry about all of this. She saw us at the mall the other day, so it seems like she has way too much free time. Are you alright with it? About a family member knowing about us, I mean? You mentioned that you didn't want anyone to find out yet. I guess it's fine. It's just Faye. If anyone was going to find out, she's best case scenario. How about you? You seem tired. <laughs> Were you getting all this ready just because I said I was coming over? N no, no. I mean, I mean, Nana told me you like it and... Huh? And this is my payment for the breakfast you made. <clears throat> ah, I see. You should take care of yourself too. Hey, lovebirds. I hope it's food you're cooking in there. Uh, of course it is. It's going to be done in a minute. Help me out. Okay. You might become a big brother any day now, Leon. Hmm. <laughs> huh? You're amazing. I can't even make something like this. I'm sure you can do this too. I can teach you if you want. I can't believe my brother found someone like you. Oh, my sweetheart, cute and kind. I want her for my wife instead. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Since he came off from a well-off family. <laughs> I was worried his family would be something like what I watch in dramas. I'm relieved Faye isn't like that at all. I can tell she's a kind person. And seeing these, cl seeing these close siblings... <sighs> Gwen, you alright? Uh, I'm fine. <laughs> Good, you must be wondering why I'm here, right? Mom's birthday's coming up to our provincial home. How about you and Leon join us, Gwen? 
I thought it would be a good time to introduce Leon to the family, don't you think? Their mom introduce family? But what if they don't accept us? Uh, that won't happen. If anything, you might not accept us. Especially this guy. <laughs> I can't believe you're being so wishy-washy. What are you, a high school sh uh, schooler? And what's with all this lawyer and custody battle business? Jeez, what a way to scare a lady into not trusting you. I'm, I'm just giving her some more time to get to know me better. I'm the father to her child, yes, but I do know the way I approached her was maybe not ideal. She's not seeing anyone. You both already have a child. You're both attracted to each other. Okay, that's the last one. Isn't yet confirmed. You should definitely propose already. And we'll do it, do it with a bang, especially if it's going to be on our turf. Tell her you want to marry her. You should really make her inten your intentions more obvious. <sighs> Will she even accept me if she finds out the truth about me being sterile? I mean, I guess we do have Leon already. If it's her, I don't think she would judge me harshly or be against having our family together. If she'll accept meeting the gang. Uh, very well then. Please let me and Leon meet your family. Uh, yay! I'm sorry about my sister. Her energy was just overwhelming, right? Yeah, but I don't hate it. Cute room. I'm happy you agreed. I thought you would decline meeting my mother and other family members. I was thinking that it would be best for Leon. For him to have a family while he grows up. I'll do it. Are you still really only doing this for our child? To be continued. Big bro Leon already? Oh my gosh. I was thinking that it would be best for Leon. For him to have a family while he grows up. I'll do it. Are you still... Really only doing this for our child? I just hope you're also considering what's best for you and us. But we're not a real couple. Hey, I was thinking I'll take care of our cute little Leon tonight since I have more time to spare. You know, so you two can have some quality time together, if you know what I mean. Uh-uh. Sure. Let's meet later. We have some things we need to talk about in private. Hello, baby. Episode 22. I didn't think you actually agree, but it's good to hear you take the offer so readily. I was actually just thinking we need to needed to have a serious talk. Thank you for giving us a chance to do that. I hope your first impression of me wasn't bad. I hope you haven't found me rude or anything. Not at all. Thanks, Gwen. I hope we can get closer. Especially since we're the same age and we're family now with Leon here. Family. Also, I'm just worried about my brother. Why is that? He's slow at this stuff. I don't think so. <laughs> you know, when I saw you all, uh, when I saw you all at the mall, I was surprised. Not just because you and Leon were there, but because my brother looked so genuinely happy. I've been hearing that a lot lately. Did he have an emo phase or something? Though I guess looking back, I remember thinking he looked sad when we first met. It's not my story to tell, but I can at least tell you he did, definitely did, and it's my fault. Huh? I'm the one who suggested he take the cruise to propose on a cruise ship. And you know, I feel guilty because, because his fiancé never showed up. 
Uh, uh? We actually met during the last day of that cruise. What? Huh? Good thing I have some of my stuff here ready. She wanted to talk in private, but I'm sure... I'm not sure why it has to be in this room. Oh, oh no, 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 no. She's not that kind of woman. <laughs> Remove these goddamn thoughts while I'm waiting for her to come in here. Oh, what are they doing? It's all making sense now. During that encounter, I can't imagine how hard it must have been for you. Oh, I need to give him a good talk again. Oh, I'm okay, really. Don't worry. I plan on taking care of that myself tonight. Then I'll take good care of Leon while you're away. <laughs> it's interesting to see how close they are. These siblings look out for each other. Siblings. Family. It's time to talk things out with Arthur. We need to define what our relationship is going to be going forward. Excuse me? Oh. Naked again. <laughs> huh? Oh, oh, uh, uh, I'm, I'm fine. I'll be done quickly. Uh, please have a seat. Okay. Uh, by the way, I hope that the invitation to my mom's birthday wasn't a burden. I'm okay with it, but to be honest, I'm also a little scared. You'll be fine. You have me. <laughs> when the time comes, I'll make sure to be there and guide you. Are you this kind? I can't understand you at all. We barely know each other. When we first met, it was just a one night stand. Even when I tell you that you're allowed to visit Leon any time, you still try going so far as to say you want to marry me. Tell me, what are we? When I'm with you, I try to convince myself it's only for Leon's sake. That being here with you is only for Leon. I hate how I can never seem to act like my old self when I'm around you. I like you. And I really want to be with you. To be continued. <sighs> surprise, surprise! Oh my gosh, I'm glad she finally met his sister and that everything's going pretty smoothly. And like... She has the same thought as I did, because in K-dramas, whenever a poor girl get together with a rich boy, the family of his would always disagree on the girl. He's like, well, why do you have to pick a poor girl, you know? So, oh, it's really cute, and I wonder what's going to happen next. All right, guys, if you guys enjoyed my webtoon reaction slash reading style, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!